the Household Chemical and Computer Recycling Facility, also known as HSERF, is located at 1150 North Branch Street. It is located two blocks east of the Kennedy Expressway at Division Street. HSERF is located near major expressways to allow easy access by Chicago residents. Prior to the construction and operation of HSERF, city and aldermen sponsored neighborhood events were held. However, increasing costs and unpredictable attendance and participation were evaluated to create a fixed location within the city of Chicago. Participation at events by the public varied by location and was generally on a downward trend. Neighborhood event costs could range from 30000 to 50000 During the evaluation of the facility construction, several criteria were identified. However, other communities may have other needs, requirements, or limitations to be considered. But a final location could incorporate several functions. This location in the city of Chicago serves only residential waste generation. HSERF's final site selection included a, an existing building with driveway access, reducing the cost of development using existing and currently owned City Chicago facility. Costs for developing the facility also needed to incorporate safeguards for hazardous material storage, adding to typical rehab costs. Leveraging, leveraging of all available funding sources are important to raise capital needed. Construction and other permitting is an important factor in site selection and appropriate planning is required to allow time for successful implementation. Each part of the permits and the construction schedule need to be taken into account. HSERF was designed and allows residents to dispose of hazardous material responsibly in a building renovated in a sustainable manner, reducing its impact to the environment. The City of Chicago places strict requirements on itself for new construction of its municipal buildings. HSERF was one of the first rehabs leading by example. The building has several functions and area for storage, operations, and training as needed. Rehab of the building was designed to facilitate public drop-off of materials at and facilitate ease of traffic flow for folks to bring materials into the building. Retrofits of the building include a process area for chemicals that are evaluated as they are accepted and processed as necessary for future, future disposal or recycling. Portions of the building were gutted. Note the orange steel girders to create an appropriate storage space for dangerous materials. Various retrofits were installed to reduce energy costs and use of materials with low environmental impact. All portions of the facility were evaluated, including the roofing system, to improve the environment, including the reduction of stormwater to local sewers and the energy required to treat clean stormwater, which can otherwise be reused. The 
several examples are shown of how each part of a building system can be developed to reduce, to reduce environmental impact. Each surf opened in the fall of 2006, allowing residents to drop off a variety of consumer-generated hazardous waste and electronic waste. Staffing is also maintained to assist residents in dropping off material. A variety of ways are accepted, including lead-acid batteries, such as what you find in trucks or cars, and many chemicals most residents have in their homes and their garages. Next time you go to a garage sale or an elderly relative's home, uh, see what you find. You'd be surprised. It is important to note there are still chemicals present in people's homes, even if they've been banned and not have been in commercial production for decades, including DDT and lead arsenate chemical compounds. It is very important such chemicals are disposed of properly. It should be noted, HSERF is not set up for the acceptance of leftover prescription medications that are also controlled substances. However, the city maintains drop boxes for this purpose at locations throughout the city. However, there are additional costs to this program. Hazardous material, including storage for mercury, flammable liquids, and oil-based paints, are stored in areas specifically designed to accommodate the physical danger posed by the, by the accumulation of such materials, such as explosion. Disposal schedule is generally as needed, but typically once a month. Once material is collected, the processing of waste can begin. A lot of work is required to handle waste once accepted. For example, spent fire extinguishers are completely discharged discharge and the aluminum bottles recycled. Much of the material collected are standard household chemicals. Materials such as used oil can be consolidated for reuse within the building. Staff with knowledge of chemical handling ensure materials are appropriately mixed and stored to ensure safe storage. Again, bulk storage of used oil is handled and maintained inside the building in large tanks. Other discarded materials can also be recycled or items such as compressed gas cylinders can be returned to the legal owners, reducing operating costs. As part of an agreement with the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency, many of the items collected at the facility are still usable and are stored for the public to browse and tape for reuse, further reducing costs and impacts to waste going into our landfills. The collection of old or out-of-service computers and monitors are a significant source of electronic waste. It is illegal to dispose of such material and other electronics into the municipal waste stream, and HSERF provides a convenient place for recycling. Many other consumer electronics are collected, basically anything with a plug. Up to 99% of the material can be recycled, depending on the nature of the material comprised. With the rise of flat screen TVs and other personal devices, much of the consumer electronics in most homes become rapidly obsolete, creating more and more electronic waste. Materials such as this are consolidated and wrapped for final disposal or recycling. The cost for operating HSERF is shared between the City of Chicago and the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. 
the costs also include one full-time staff and several vendors or contractors who assist in the processing of the material. Only through governmental partnerships can facilities like HSHRF be open to the public. Attendance at HSURF is steady. It should be noted, spikes in visitation can occur season seasonally or when heavy rain events occur and basements floods, creating additional opportunity to residents to discard and drop off material. Since opening its doors, over 70,000 people have visited HSURF. During the first quarter of 2014, over 25,000 pounds of material was collected. The most common chemicals collected are oil-based paint, flammable liquids, used oil, and antifreeze. Over 1.5 million pounds of chemicals have been collected since October 2006. The collection of electronics is very important and HSURF has collected approximately 2.5 million pounds of material. Consumer electronics stores have begun to collect and dispose a variety of material, but not all items such as large TVs and other items are accepted. HSURF is an excellent option for residents who might have a large quantity of material and are looking to responsibly dispose and or recycle their material. This concludes the presentation. For more information, please 